Nowadays, programming languages are all around us. It's how we keep the systems and devices we use every day operating and running smoothly. They allow for us measly humans to interact and make cool, fun, or random things just by tapping a few buttons. In fact, I would guess if you're watching this video, you probably know a few programming languages. But what was the first programming language? Well, if you look this up on Google, you're going to find varying results. People claim that maybe it's Autocode by Alec Lenny in the early 1950s, or maybe it's Fortran, also developed in the 1950s. But in all actuality, computer science when it relates to programming started much earlier than this. Computer science when it relates to programming actually dates way back as far as 1843 with Ada Lovelace and her experimentations. I'm not going to bore you to death with the details of the 1800s computer science concepts, but there are a few things that she understood that paved the way and honestly started the foundation of all computer programming languages as we know it. When Ada Lovelace was young, she was incredibly intelligent, so much so that her mathematical talents led her to a long and rewarding friendship with Charles Babbage, the known father of computers. Now what we really need to know is that Charles Babbage had a breakthrough in the 1820s inventing the difference machine. This was literally the first successful fully automatic calculator and to be honest, that was its main purpose. But this was out of the world unthinkable at the time. Lovelace seen this and immediately had a revelation of her own. She realized that Babbage's machine could do much more than just calculate. It was a general purpose machine for whatever you might want to do. In fact, Lovelace was the first person to make the leap that numbers could actually represent other things digitally. Right then, the idea of programming languages was first born. I actually researched more into this, and beyond just that, she thought about how to repeat a series of instructions with machines and came up with looping. She literally conjured up what loops now are with for loops and while loops back in the 1800s. Now after Ada Lovelace, there was actually a huge gap in the timeline. No one knew at the time how to convert machine code and what machines created into actual programming languages. This was until Alan Turing made a groundbreaking discovery. Alan Turing, another prominent figure in the computer science upbringing, was a famous computer scientist for his work on cracking Nazi Germany's Enigma code. Turing came up with a concept that built upon Ada Lovelace's original ideas, which was that there very well could be a universal machine. One that could follow instructions and was powered by electricity and could run programs. Shortly after this, we had the onslaught of actual programming languages appear, but many wonder, what was the first legitimate programming language? Well, it turns out the very first programming language to actually be used was created between 1942 and 1945 and was named Planck-a-Kull, or planck -a I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I do know it was an extremely important programming language at the time. Created by Conrad Zeus, planck was the first semi-high level programming language and it was mainly used to store codes which at the time enabled engineers to carry out routines or repetitive tasks way easier than simply doing it themselves. Little did Conrad know this was the beginning of the onslaught of many more programming languages that most of us know and love today. However, while Comrade Zeus was creating Planck there was another computer scientist at the University of London in Kathleen Booth. Another historical woman figure in the computer science industry, Kathleen created the first majorly popular programming language at the time in assembly. This was first created in 1947 and has been used non-stop even up to the present date. This was the first public and accessible step that was above machine language and was before the revolution of some of the most infamous high-level programming languages. Assembly in itself is a very low-level programming language. Its intentions are to communicate directly with the computer's hardware via keyword access modifiers just like we use today. However, many have described assembly syntax as rigorous and difficult to learn, but once you learn it, it shows the true relationship between the programmer and the computer itself. After assembly was created in 1947, many of the foundational programming languages were built. Fortran, Autocode, Algol, COBOL, BASIC, Pascal, C, and SQL. All of which dating back before 1975 and building what we know to be high-level programming languages in some ways. Their principles were later designed and modified off of with newer programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby, C++, PHP, C Sharp, JavaScript, and so many more. At the end of the day, all of the languages we use today, for whatever reasons, whether it be game development, software engineering, cybersecurity, or hobbies, our side jobs, our careers, everything is all thanks to the founding fathers of computer science. Thank you, Ada Lovelace, Alan Turing, Conrad Zeus, and Kathleen Booth. And thank you for watching.